Uh, I'd like to say a few words about our superintendent, Mr. Taylor. I know he, from personal experience, he doesn't like people to talk about him, but uh, Lewis H. Taylor was a student at Steve Decatur High School from 1974 to 1978. He played football, basketball, and baseball. As a coach at Steve Decatur High School, he was an assistant football coach for 11 years, a JV boys basketball coach for nine years, and a baseball coach for six years. He has been associated with Steve Decatur High School as a student athlete, a coach, and an administrator from 1974 to 2012, uh, 38 years. He served in the role of assistant superintendent of schools before he became our superintendent of schools. He was uh, voted the Maryland Secondary School High School, the Maryland Secondary School Principal of the Year in 1998. He single-handedly raised $500,000 to get the state-of-the-art field house constructed without using school funds or taxpayer dollars. He began the tradition of having a fireworks display at the homecoming game. And again, this was paid completely with donations from local businesses. He worked with law enforcement and fire departments to bring the mock accident to Worcester <coughs> County. Now all three high schools participate in such events. He has served on numerous boards of directors for local businesses, again, working to forge wonderful relationships with our community and businesses with our schools. He has been the number one cheerleader for both Steve Decatur High School, and now he's the number one cheerleader for Worcester County Public Schools, and he has done that for decades. Uh, and I'm gonna talk about another individual uh, like Mr. Taylor, who's very important to the Steve Decatur community. He's here today. He doesn't know that he's being, gonna be uh, introduced in just a second. Uh, but his name is Coach Bob Knox. Coach? I told Coach he was coming down here to talk about the new turf field. So he has no idea what's going to put on the uh, Again, I want to talk about Coach Knox. Coach Robert Bobby Knox started his career at Stephen Cater High School in 1974 as a social studies teacher and an assistant football coach under then head coach Tim Core. Coach Knox took over the reins of the football program, being named head coach in 1990, uh, 1983. During his time at Stephen Cater High School, Coach Knox compiled a record of 231 and 142, winning 25 county championships, nine conference championships, made 10 state playoff appearances, and four regional championships. His teams have reached the state semifinals two times in 1998 and 2004. In 2018, Coach Knox was inducted into the Maryland High School Football Hall of Fame. Coach Knox has dedicated his career to Stephen Cater High School, teaching and coaching three and now four generations of students and players over the years. When you think of Stephen Decatur High School football, Coach Knox and his smash mouth round, round brand of play come to mind. In addition to coaching football, Coach Knox served as the head boys basketball coach from 1980 to 82. We are proud of the tradition Coach Knox has brought to the school. Many of our student athletes, such as our current superintendent, Mr. Lewis H. Taylor, have prospered under his leadership. Coach Knox has taught U.S. history and world cultures at Stephen Decatur High School for 46 years, serving as a role model to many teachers. And it's, this has been said many times, I've heard it in this very room. Coach Knox is a phenomenal football coach, but he's an even better teacher, and we all can attest to that. So, to honor these two fine gentlemen who have dedicated their professional lives to the students, teachers, and citizens of Worcester County. Starting with the 2019-20 school year, our renovated athletic complex will now be called Robert G. Knox Field at Lewis H. Taylor Stadium. Probably the greatest honor that I've ever received in my years uh, in this school system. One of the things that Tom shared is that uh, I was the number one cheerleader for Stephen Cater High School. I'm also the number one cheerleader for this school system and I share with the board this morning that all 14 of these schools now are held at the highest level uh, with me. Um, this is a great day. My family is able to be here. My parents, who are getting up in years and enjoying retirement life, and which I'm grateful for, made the long journey last night, a flight home, to be here today. I think the greatest thing for me 
is that they're alive to see this. Because a lot of times this happens when people pass away and they do those things, but as important to me, uh, I know it's as important to them, and you notice I'm not looking to the left out. <laughs> uh, my other fixed end family is here, and I thank them for, for making that trip up. Um, but to be associated first and foremost with Stevie Cater, and to be associated with Bob Knox, my football coach, my boss as an assistant, uh, when I worked with Bob for 11 seasons, and then to have the opportunity to work with him for 17 years as a principal, and now the role that I play is truly an honor for me. Um, so many friends and colleagues, I'd like to name everybody sitting here uh, who have been on this journey with me. Um, thank you. Uh, I'm honored, uh, beyond honored, and I'm really, I, I don't know what to say in a lot of ways, but this is something that uh, I will cherish uh, for a lifetime. So with that, I'm going to shut up. Because Bill Gordy says, you turn me loose about the school system, I never shut up. And I'm going to turn it over to my friend, and, and not my friend, he is my friend, but my coach, Bob Knox. They didn't trick me. <laughs> I don't have any words. This is just a... Thank him, thank the board. Thank the Toms, thank the, uh, especially, thank, especially thank all the players that played for me. There's one sitting right there. There's another one. Uh, the coaches that coach with me, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. There's another player over there. Okay, they're all over the place. Uh, but, uh, and especially, uh, my wife. You don't realize how much time goes into preparation. All people see are the Friday nights. That's all they want to see. That's all they want to talk about. They don't see the practices, but not even the practices. They don't even see what goes work. It goes into it at home. Uh, came home one night after a game that we lost. My uh, two daughters were about five and six, and uh, my wife had just gotten me a, a brick. It's a styrofoam brick. I said bad call on it. <laughs> I was sitting there watching. Uh, the film from the game to try and make corrections for when it would to make us better. And I'm yelling at things and I threw the brick a couple times. Nobody was around. And then all and sometimes I get excited and emotional and yell things and when I'm watching things and then things don't go the right way. And uh, all of a sudden from around the corner I see my youngest daughter's eyes and forehead. I see my oldest daughter's eyes and forehead, and I see Judy's eyes and forehead. And my youngest daughter says, Daddy, is it all right if we come down now? <laughs> but, I mean, that's just some of the, the, to be successful in anything, or not even successful, to do a good job in anything, it just takes a lot of preparation that people don't recognize, they don't see. And uh, this is just... I don't know what to say. Thank you.